Sisi kilanza tumiki session. We have that's and um say we have four T D degrees we have X. How do you find the value for X over here? You know angle on a straight line, that's the on a straight line, they add up to okay. 180 degrees. So it means mm. 40 degrees plus X should give us 180 degrees. And you just okay. manipulate it to get the value for X. So, yeah. that's all. so we use some, you know, we have principles in solving for angles, right? Okay, so as we wait for session, let's start with the rotation. Okay, so for rotation, we have clockwise direction and what? Anti clockwise direction. Usually, when they say um, maybe rotate, rotate, rotate point A as let's say one, two, through 90 degrees. About the origin, about the origin, it means that you are rotating it through what anti clock, uh, sorry, through the clockwise direction. If they don't state it for you as clockwise or anti clockwise, then you are going in for clockwise. Okay. So let's look at the general overview of rotation. You forget about this question and look at this. You know, we have the others, we have X and Y others. We have Y others here and we have X others here. I know on the uh, plane, the down part is negative and this, yeah. the left part is what? Negative. All right, so for rotation, we are going to be moving it like that. So the first one, Y and X, we are moving this. This is zero, zero, about the origin. So if you are moving this, then that means that this Y, will come here and this X will come down. You get it. This Y will move to this side and this X will move down here. That is the first movement, the first quadrant. So the first movement, that is a 90 degrees clockwise direction. And so this Y will come here and this X will come down. But before I said that, I said that the moment you get down, a negative sign will affect it. Yeah. So when you about to start, you have negative, negative here. The moment any, any of the variables get there, the negative sign affects it. So if we are rotating uh, this, to the 90 degrees clockwise direction, it means that, and when you are reading it, you read from the X others first, like this. Okay. The normal reading is what X and Y, X and Y. So if you are reading this one too, you read from the X, regardless of whatever is there, read whatever is there from the X others first. So this reading will be what Y big. Excuse me. Hello. Hello, Dad. Uh, 
When you yeah, are so this is the first movement, ninety degrees clockwise. Second movement, the same thing where it is right now. We are moving it again. We are shifting it. So it means that if we are shifting this, this x will move. This yeah. x, uh huh. So this x will move to this side, and this y will move down. Do you get it? So we will get the y coming down and the x coming to the side. And the movement coming in, uh -huh. so they're all going to go negative, negative. Do you get it? And so reading this, this is going to give us what? What should be the reading? Why is the degree? What to be the reading? The others. Minus x minus y. Perfect. Good. Because you are reading from the x axis first. So negative x, negative y. And so this is 180 degrees was clockwise. What? 180 degrees clockwise. Then you still move again. Moving this again. So it means that this will move the negative y here or the y, yes. it is negative because of the position. So this y yes. will move to this direction cause the x to move up. Yes. All right. So this uh, new position will now be y is here and x is up. You get it. But you know that x here is positive, but y here is what? Negative. That's all. So the reading here goes negative y x. So this is 270 degrees was clockwise. You understand it? Yeah. So first, the 90 degrees, you have the normal 0, 0, 0 as x, y. Yes. Then 90 degrees, you now be moving your x and your y others. So this will move and the x will move down. The moment it gets here, a negative sign will affect. And so the reading you read from the x others first. So the reading will be nine negative x. Shifting this again, your x will now come here and the y will take the x position. The moment it gets here, the negative negative affects it. We are getting negative x from the x others first, negative y. This is giving you 180 degrees clockwise. If one two hundred seventy degrees, okay. it means that the y has to move and the x upwards. When x is here, it is positive, but when y is here, it was negative. Okay. And so this now becomes two hundred seventy degrees clockwise. So now I'm leaving you to do the anticlockwise direction. You know anticlockwise direction. Yes. Yeah. It's move backwards. But no. Various homes, your clocks moves in a clockwise what direction? Okay. The clock it moves in this direction, like this. Yeah. But when you say anti-clockwise, it means it is what moving in the backward direction. Yeah. Good. So now I'm leaving you to do the anti-clockwise direction for 90, 180 degrees and 270 degrees.
when it says 360, 360 is when it gets back to its original position. So if it is 360, it means the X will come here and the Y will come up, obtaining its original position as the one we started with. So do the clockwise and the anti-clockwise and let's see. Okay. Okay. So how do you do it? Now let's go Hello. for the 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Mm -hmm. yeah. What did you get? I got minus by x. So we had y here and we had x. So what do you do? So you move the x to where the y is and the y to the okay. negative side of x. So you move this to this and the y to this side, right? Yeah. So you are getting your new readings to be x and y. And what happened again? So you read from the x as it is. And the, where the y is, it's at the negative side of the x, the negative y. Good. So the negative affected. So you're reading now goes negative y and x. And so this is 90 degrees anti clockwise direction. Yeah. Okay. So let's see for 180 degrees anti clockwise. Okay, so let's go. So now the Y moves down, eh? Yes. And the X moves towards this direction. Where the Y You're getting negative, negative, right? Yes. yes. So I read you what? Negative X, negative Y. Negative X, negative Y. Perfect. So this is 180 degrees anti-clockwise wow. direction. Okay. Then we come to 270 degrees. Yeah. And so this is so here, and so it moves down. So your Y will come here, and the X will take the Y position. So we are getting X down and Y here. But with yeah. this one, a negative affects here. Yeah. Okay. So you are getting the reading to go y negative x. Yeah. Okay. So this is 270 degrees anti clockwise direction. Okay. All right. What can you say about that? Mm -hmm. 
what can you say about it? Which one? All the readings that you've obtained, they look at the connection, the connection between the clockwise directions and the anti-clockwise directions. What can you say about it? Yeah. What is it between clockwise and anti-clockwise remain the same? Come again. The one is to be with clockwise and anti-clockwise are the same reading. And for the 90 degrees clockwise and 90 degrees anti-clockwise, the first one denigrated the X and the second one denigrated the Y. It's simple. So as you are moving down, you'll be climbing up for the other one. So we have 90, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and that's the clockwise direction. And so it is the opposite side for the anti clockwise. So this is 70, 270 degrees, 180 degrees, and 90 degrees. And that's the anti clockwise direction. You get it. So yes. the values or the readings for a 90 degrees clockwise. It's, it's um, 270 degrees anti-clockwise direction. The reading for 180 degrees and those are the same. The reading for 270 degrees clockwise is the same as 90 degrees was anti-clockwise. So the readings are like this. So the moment you get to know about 90 degrees clockwise, then you can apply for the anti-clockwise anti for 270 degrees. So do you understand it now? Yes. Rotation, rotation, rotation. Yeah, okay, now, right? Yes. And I'm going to do this for me. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, the image. The image of the point negative four three under a rotation under rotation of ninety degrees anti clockwise direction is Anticlockwise direction centered centered at the origin centered at the origin it would it would so do it and look okay. Minus three, minus four. Minus three, minus four. So I have a minus four, minus three. You see how technical they are? E three minus four. C negative three, four. And D. Negative three, negative four. Which is which? Negative three, negative four. Okay, let's see. So the normal one, we have negative four yes. and three. Where is negative four? This side, eh? Yes. So negative four and three. And so you are moving towards the anti clockwise direction. So how do you move? Yes. So the three will take the place of perfect. So the three perfect, perfect, perfect. So the three will take the position of this and four will come down. We are getting negative three here, then negative four here. Good. The second question.
triangle RSD triangle IS RSD has point R to be negative two negative two point S to be three five and point T as seven negative four. What is the image? What is the image of point C after what's the image of point C after a rotation after a rotation of 180 about the origin. Okay. All right, so the other question. Okay, how did you get? Minus that is four. My a minus that is minus four. Again. Minus seven minus four. Minus seven minus four. How did you do it? I do the. So the action of point C. Okay. Point T. Point T was seven. Nick. Four. Yes. Okay. And the uh, action of 180 yeah. degrees. About the origin, about the origin, the dimension of anti-clockwise or clockwise. So meaning we are dealing with what clockwise direction. Right? Yes. Yes. So I was confused because the four is already negative. And so if it's moving to the other place, should I still maintain the negative? This is clockwise direction. So you are moving. You're moving, so the first movement will be here. So you get seven, four, but negative, negative. Right? Yeah. Uh-huh, that'll be the first movement. The second movement will come up. That is what? And so that is what? That'll give you seven, four, but this will be negative. Yes. Yeah. You're supposed to get negative seven and four. So why did you get negative that negative that? So the image of C is supposed to give you negative seven and four. Okay. Do you get it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The next one. Let's see that.
Question on verses four for the transformation show.
is the measure. The transformation is shown at the right. What is the measure of the angle? Measure of the angle of rotation. Angle of rotation of A, B, C, D about the origin. 